Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Got a lot I want to cover in this video. We're going to take a look at some new video footage of the volcanic eruption, a apocalyptic plume soaring out of that volcano right there on the northern end of St. Vincent Island in the southern Caribbean. Update on the merging cyclones in the southern hemisphere. But we're going to start over here at Disclose.tv. Article talking about leaked UFOs swarming over U.S. Navy destroyer. U.S. Navy confirmed the footage as genuine as the footage was taken by the Navy of these triangle shaped crafts once again spotted in the sky and in the video here you can find link below in the description box at disclose.tv it's from the Navy and there are multiple they're calling them pyramid shaped crafts but they look like triangles much like the one in fact almost identical to the one that we just saw less than a week ago flying near the International Space Station in case you guys missed that video footage, here it is. I want to show you the similarities. These objects are, in my humble opinion, absolutely identical. I think they're the same crafts. This one was from a week ago. The footage in the Disclosed.tv article was from 2019. The article just came out a couple of days ago. Here's the craft visible from the International Space Station. Let me speed it forward a little bit. And I want to show you when I enhance this footage, you can totally tell that this is some sort of a triangle pyramid shaped object right there's a good look at it you can see lights on the three corners that's definitely some sort of a triangle shaped craft right there's a good look at it also and it reminds me of this object right here that's footage from the navy who noticed multiple crafts flying in the sky above a ship again that goes back to 2019 the footage you're looking at here is from 2021 about a week ago i want to take you guys now over to portugal where carlos skywatcher noticed something in the sky as he was filming a sunset that looked like one of these triangle crafts in fact he said it looked like a multi-dimensional craft just parked in the sky here's the footage from april 8th of 2021 he zoomed in on the object right there it appeared to be stationary but it looked like one of these triangle crafts that were spotted not only by the navy but mary hall spotted one from the international space station i've had dozens and dozens of photos and video footage shared with me by you guys via email of these mysterious crafts sometimes parked in clouds like we're seeing right here above portugal see it right there that's what got carlos attention you can find carlos's youtube channel linked below down in the description box carlos gets videos of excellent sunsets and different sky phenomena from portugal and out over the ocean out over the atlantic ocean this one here was during a sunset when he looked up and noticed this thing that just looked out of place it didn't look random it looks like it's of intelligent design looks like a triangle in the sky in fact it kind of looks like multiple triangles in the sky parked in the same place so he filmed these objects for a while they didn't seem to move they didn't make any noise kind of maintained that same position in the skies above portugal video once again was taken on april 8th and this was right as the sun was setting so another great observation of these mysterious triangle objects that we're seeing in the sky here it kind of moved a little bit it seemed to rotate the entire cloud structure rotated and it was almost like the clouds were trying to tell you or this that vapor in the sky was trying to tell you there was something there it was feeling the presence of quite possibly something that was triangle shaped Carlos happened to notice it and took a good video shared it with me and I'm simply sharing it with you guys to me that definitely looks like a triangle craft parked in the sky above Portugal just a couple of days ago another great observation observation this one here is from 2019 that video footage is from the u.s navy and then we've got some footage mary hall noticed from the international space station so these things are showing up all over the place and once again you can find that video link down below in the description box and supposedly it has been verified as genuine by the navy i want to give you guys a quick update on the erupting volcano as i've received some new video footage from david his mom's sister 
is on the island of St. Vincent, and we saw the eruption on Zoom Earth. In fact, I want to take you guys to Zoom Earth. Here's the, the latest footage from Zoom Earth, and you can see this thing has erupted once again. This is from today, and the sky is just filled with brown ash and smoke, and that's traveling several hundred miles. In fact, completely engulfing Barbados. Here's a ground view of what looks like an apocalyptic plume sent in by David, his mom's sister on the island. Okay, thank you. Just, just remember so I get it. Holy, okay, it's really here. Oh, my God. Look at the size of that. No wonder it looks so dark from the sky. Look how dark that is on the ground looking up. Very thin thick dark plume of ash and smoke filling the sky traveling now hundreds of miles and this is yet another eruption this thing is still erupting once again on the north part of St. Vincent Island down in the southern Caribbean this volcano has not erupted since 1979 that would be over 40 years ago thousands of people had to evacuate the area and you can see why as this footage here at Zoom Earth from today shows that it has erupted yet once again and this video footage right here confirms what we see from space there it is on the ground very thick dark plume of ash and smoke filling the skies of the southern Caribbean now a quick update on the two cyclones that are on a collision course with each other off the west coast of Australia they have collided forming one large storm and this thing is only going to get larger as it moves closer and closer to the western coast of Australia making landfall here probably in the next 36 hours the storm is starting to get more and more defined it's got tremendous outflows that means it is reaching way up into the atmosphere the temperature right here only goes up to negative 80 degrees Celsius which is minus 112 that storm is much taller than that it is reaching way up into the atmosphere but it's becoming more and more organized as it moves closer to the west coast of Australia it's already a category one storm supposed to remain a category one storm as it makes landfall it's not gonna have a whole lot of time to strengthen too much but it is rapidly intensifying right now as I do this video but again once it makes landfall it will start to lose some of that momentum as these things maintain their strength out over the water but there's the one remaining storm but we did witness the rare Fujiwara effect off the west coast of Australia two storms converging to make one large storm thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there